Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on the video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction. We're diving back into some more of my queen, my goddess, my end all be all, the one, the only Miss Kelly Clarkson, and some more of her Kelly Oki segments. Um, so we're diving into two that I'm really, really excited about. I've got a lot added to my playlist that I need to catch up on. Um, but right now, these two are ones that I've heard her cover in the past. Um, one in on her Kelly Oki EP that was released a couple months ago, and then one that I remember that she did in like her fan request section on um, one of her tours. Um, years and years and years ago. Was it the Stronger Tour? Maybe. It's back when she had the brown hair and the blunt bang. Um, I forget which tour that was off the top of my head. It might have been Stronger. Um, but either way. So first we're going to dive into her covering Heavy in Your Arms by Florence and the Machine. I love the song and honestly I have her rendition of the song from when she covered it back during the fan request days. Committed to memory. I know inside, outside, backwards, forwards. Um, so I'm very interested to see how it's evolved since then, um, how we're going to trim it down for the sake of being Kelly Oki, so down to like a minute and a half in length. Um, and yeah, just to see where the things and the things go with it. So let's just dive on in. I love this instrumentation. I love what the band is doing. It's only been like six seconds, but I love what the band is doing. Take it back. Take it back, take it back, just this one. Mm. The clarity in that belt and the decision to take it up. Because like I said, I have her version that she did in on tour committed to memory. And at that point, like, yes, yeah, she's still belting her face off, but she took it to, um, I think, the same note that she did the second time. Yes. So like when she was saying it in tour, during during these last of the courses when she's belting her face off, she usually took it there. So that I'm so heavy, heavy, heavy in your arms. So she took it there. But that's that last one. She heavy in your arms. Like she, ooh, mm. one more time. Oh, and then that nice little cry at the top of it. I can't do it, but God, it's so good. One more time. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Mm. 
I love, I love, I love that she is just here. Like, it kind of reminds me, if you guys have seen Yeba performing My Mind, where she's out here slaying, she is giving you vocals for days, months, years, decades. She's just slaying the house down. But she's just sitting here dressed like she, she, she's going grocery shopping or whatever, just, you know, in her, her little house coat, her little sweater. Same thing here with Kelly. Like, she's just dressed in her little dress. She's got her big comfy sweater on, whatnot. And she's just casually out here slaying. She's giving you these dynamic dynamite vocals. And she's just, she just sitting here straight chilling. She's just on stage straight chilling. She's got all the lights and whatnot doing all this amazing stuff. And she's just standing there, just straight chilling, just casually slaying the house down. It's like, ugh, work my last nerve. You better work my last nerve, ma'am. Ugh. Yes, vocals, everything, everything. For the most part, she kept it pretty similar to how she sang it in tour, um, with the exception of that last little bit there where she modulated up even higher. Oh, God, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and it's just a testament that all these years later, she's still slaying it just as well. Her voice has not faltered. If anything, it's gotten better. Um, and this is one of those songs where it's, it's just made to be covered by Kelly. Like, Florence and the Machine are incredible, incredible artists. Um, and I love their music and I feel like stylistically their music works really, really well with Kelly. Um, not that their voices sound anything alike because Florence Welch has such a un unique timbre to her voice and such a unique speed to her vibrato that their voices are completely different kind of voices, but like the music she makes, it just, it works so well with Kelly. I don't really know how to explain it other than to say that her music just works well with Kelly. So, like, it's made for Kelly to cover. Um, yeah, and the lighting, again, I say it every time. They deserve all the awards in the world because it's incredible. I love what the band was doing with the instrumentation, especially in the earlier parts of the song. There was just... It felt similar enough to the original, but it felt revamped enough that it breathed a nice and just new life into it. Ugh, love, 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 love. All right, so lastly, we're going to get into her finally doing Queen of the Night Live. Now, I don't know if this was a cover that she did this season of the Kelly Clarkson show. Like, obviously, it was released during the season. But I know sometimes, like, she's got some karaoke performances that she records and just kind of has sitting on the back burner for a day in case like okay i don't feel well today or i feel sick today or whatever it might be so like okay we'll play that performance rather than her actually singing live that day or whatever so i don't know if this is one of those performances that was like recorded way back when and just hasn't been released yet because obviously she put it on the karaoke ep um and all the other songs on the ep she had covered on the show at some point in time so i don't know if this is one that was covered back then and it's just been sitting in a vault somewhere or if this was a recent um, performance that she did um, on the show, but we're going to just dive in and see. I've heard fantastic things about it, so I'm excited to see what she does with it. Love the lighting. I've got the stuff that you want. I've got the things that you need. I've got more than Sing, Mama. I see the background dancers feeling themselves. Mm. 
placement on that belt, though. Come on, Jocko. Again, the lighting is everything. Mm. Come on with the head voice. Mama. Now I know I always say after like 90% of these karaoke segments that I need a full length version of this. I need a full length version. Thankfully, we already have a full length version of Queen of the Night. Again, I don't know if this particular performance was recorded before or after the EP was put out, but like, oh my god, so damn good. So damn good. Like, obviously, very similar to the EP. There were a couple little melodic changes she made here and there, but for the most part she kept it pretty similar. But like, it is a beast of a song to sing. It is such a hard song to sing with all of the belts that Kelly does, plus all the transitions up into the higher head voice. It It, it is just exhausting. It can get vocally exhausting. Um, so like, she was out here slaying, slaying, and the background singers, as always, I've said it a number of times, Kelly is one artist who knows the value of having good background singers because good background vocals can make or break your entire performance. They can either elevate your performance to the next level or they can make you sound like you're singing bad karaoke. So Kelly has always had fantastic background vocalists and oh god they're just so on point, so on point. Uh, and then Jocko on this guitar, like this is one that I would love, like whenever the next tour comes don't know when that is or if she ever reclaims her Vegas residency that was supposed to happen and didn't quite happen because COVID and things um, but whenever the next tour comes this is one that I would love to see full-length performance in concert um, because Jocko on the guitar there was slaying the house down but we had to abbreviate it so we could get back to the singing because again we're kind of truncating everything down for the sake of this karaoke segment so I want to enjoy the full length I want to enjoy the full instrumental break with the guitar I want it enjoy the full her just vocally riffing and belting to the high heavens for the last set of choruses. I, I want the full effect. Uh, but that being said, this was fantastic. Vocally, fantastic. The lighting, again, is so incredible. It just, uh, feels like just real concert lighting for this minute and a half that we're getting these karaoke segments. Uh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Band did fantastic. Background vocals are fantastic. Kelly did fantastic. Everyone was fantastic. So, yeah, this is going to be a tough one, because as you guys know, at the end of all these karaoke segments, I tried to do a ranking um, of the, what we just watched, but they were both so damn good. So damn good. Um, if I had to put one above the other, I would put... I preferred or I enjoyed Heavy in Your Arms a little bit more. Um, just stylistically, musically, I enjoyed it, but Queen of the Night was amazing as well. So if, if I had to put one over the other that I enjoyed more, it'd be Heavy in Your Arms, but they're both just like neck and neck because they're both fantastic. Um, but you guys can let me know what your ranking is down in the, just the comment section. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone supporting me over on Patreon. This channel would not be what it is today without your continued support, and I can't begin to thank you guys enough for all you've done for me. If you'd like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I'll see you guys in my next video.